The motion to concur in the House Amendment to Senate Bill 365 is agreed to. And with that, debt crisis averted the debt ceiling legislation that brought the nation close to a historic default and put the two houses of Congress at odds with each other past the Senate 74 to 26. The debate was long. It wasn't easy. For weeks, the American people have watched and wondered whether Congress could get its job done. Well, we got it done and brought our economy back from the brink of disaster. The bill passed the House Monday night, leaving it to clear the final hurdle in the Senate. The president later gave it his signature. This is, however, just the first step. This compromise requires that both parties work together on a larger plan to cut the deficit, which is important for the long-term health of our economy. The leaders say it's a compromise, but some members of Congress weren't overly enthusiastic on both sides of the aisle. To say that the legislation before us is not ideal is truly an understatement. I will support this legislation, but with very serious reservations. The bill raises the debt ceiling through the end of 2012, calls for more than $2 trillion in savings over the next decade, and establishes a committee to look for long-term fiscal reform. In Washington, I'm Diana Rocco.